Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Today I have somewhat of a very exciting perfume haul for you guys. Now, as of lately, I have been extremely intrigued with Middle Eastern fragrances. I don't know if it's because I've been indulging in so many fresh, fruity, floral fragrances that I'm literally craving some intensely strong, ambery, woody, woody scents. For some reason, um, I have been literally like hunting down, researching all those really nice oud fragrances, which is what I plan on, you know, exploring throughout the fall. So yeah, I happened to come across one particular Instagrammer's channel, and I think it's April Smells Good. And she had a particular fragrance, and I was like, ooh, let me look up the name of this perfume. And when I looked up that perfume, it just led me into a trail of new discoveries, you guys. Like a new world of fragrances that I wasn't even... I mean, maybe I was aware they existed, but following on from discovering Al Haramain. These fragrances pretty much go hand in hand with Al Haramain. So yeah, ever since I discovered that one particular fragrance from that particular Instagram, I have been going crazy, you guys. Like going crazy. But... The reason why I'm bringing this video to you guys is because my craze has been, how would I say, impressive. You know, it has brought me back some really good finds that I can't wait to share with you guys. I can't tell you how much I have been obsessing. I have been like obsessing, obsessing, obsessing. I have been doing review, review after review. I have been like, you know, properly like researching these fragrances and these brands. And so far, I have six Middle Eastern fragrances right here. And this is going to be my part one. So I have six Middle Eastern fragrances that I have that I'm going to be telling you guys about that I can't wait to dive into for fall. And I'm going to have to say to you guys, like, these are some very impressive finds, you guys. And Middle Eastern perfumes, it's a wall of fragrances that's very intriguing, you guys. So yeah, if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on these Middle Eastern fragrances that I happen to come across, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, I truly do hope you guys enjoy exploring these fragrances with me. And I hope that you will stick around for part two because part two will be coming and i think like this is gonna be the new wave for me for the fall i'm gonna be oud tobacco incense wood and amber and i'm gonna dibble in some cherries you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah let's just go into my finds all right so the first fragrance that kind of like you know piqued my interest into middle eastern perfumes is none other than Rapa by Latafa. Now, apparently, I'm late to the party. I'm late, just like I was late with Al Haramin, but you know, we have arrived, okay? <laughs> apparently, this is a very popular Middle Eastern fragrance from that Latafa brand that I'm just coming across. It's been quite hyped up, and apparently, it's been well received because it is quite good. And I'm here to confirm to you guys this is bomb. This is some good stuff. This is a really nice fragrance, you guys. I'm telling you, like, I was a bit shook. I mean, you know, did I highlight to you guys how affordable Middle Eastern fragrances are? Like, these fragrances are so affordable. Like, before I bought any of them, I started emailing particular YouTubers and asking them, like, what do you think? What's the shelf life of these fragrances? You know, how long do they last? You know, I mean, like, tell me something. Give me anything, you know. I have been frequenting one particular YouTuber. Well, a lot of YouTubers recently, you know, you know, the saga continues. But I'm going to pop the name of her channel right here to the top. Listen, you guys, she has so many gems. I call them gems because, you know what, for a Middle Eastern perfume that's, very very affordable this doesn't smell harsh it doesn't smell cheap it doesn't smell like it did for me this fragrance the quality that i have explored is a notch above um what do you call it celebrity perfumes now designer fragrances come in um a wide range i want to say 
if not for the different Middle Eastern feel of these fragrances, they're just as good as designer perfumes, which is why I was so excited, you know, to discover and dive into all of them. You know, so yeah, Ragba. Let me just tell you guys the notes that Ragba has in. Okay, so Ragba, Ragba by Latafa has in vanilla, agarwood, sugar, incense, sandalwood, and musk. And you get just that. For me, what I get from this perfume, this is a sugary, sweet, ambery, incense smelling perfume. Pretty much. You, you definitely get, you just get that. The incense, it is very, you know, during the fall. I mean, we're going into fall. I can imagine that. You know, that whole feel, that vibe being very comforting for me. You know, I want to say this is one of the first fragrances that I explored with incense in it. It's very comforting. It's quite enjoyable. It's nice. It's different. You know, it adds a bit of depth. It's, com it's something completely different. Now, of course, the wood in here is synthetic. But it doesn't smell like a strong synthetic scent. Like, for example, you know, Swiss Arabian um, Shag of Oud. You kind of get that incentive, that kind of like um, synthetic vibe, even if you're not familiar with synthetic vibe, so to speak. But in this one, it doesn't smell that way. Wood is not that loud. So what you get more is the incense with the sandalwood essence. You definitely get that, okay? But that vanilla, that sugary, sweet, ambery dark intensive vanilla with essence to this perfume my goodness you guys this is so beautiful i will say to you right that um when you spray it on you okay for me i'm just getting used to incense and you know i don't really play around with incense much when this perfume start to dry down there it's like it smells like a you do get the remnants of like wet wood i'm guessing i'm guessing it's the incense combining with the agar wood but um it's not really off putting but it comes across like um a little bit old i don't really like that phase in this fragrance but otherwise than this i really love this perfume i am thoroughly enjoying this fragrance and despite it having that incense and that deep dark amber woodiness to it this perfume i am in we are in summer right now it's not that hot it's not that cold and this is a pleasure to wear Okay, this is an absolute pleasure to wear right now. So for me, I think even though this perfume is mostly ideal for the fall, it's very nice fall scent, and of course the winter, in late nights, or uh, if you have like formal events, or uh, some, you know, if you're going out in the night somewhere like that, getting dressed up and stuff like that, you can very well pull for this perfume. This is not necessarily playful. It does this. It is described as a vanilla -y gourmand scent. You do get gourmand the essences. It, you know, it's really sugary, sweet, and ambery. Very, very pleasant smelling fragrance. But yeah, this is a very beautiful, enjoyable scent to wear. You know, in the nighttime, the fall, and the winter. Now, I have had this fragrance for quite a couple days now. I have been playing with it. Some people say it lasts long some people say it doesn't. i want to say i get medium i want to say i get about six seven hours lasting six seven hours lasting three hours projection because i've played with so it for me latafa ragba has opened up a whole new you know um world of fragrances for me or interest in fragrances for me and i'm enjoying it and this brand for me is very much creditable you guys so this is ragba by latafa okay now next i'm gonna give you guys the intense to ragba which is the ragba wood intense now when i heard about ragba all it is is like wherever you hear about that one you definitely get here about this one as well the intense version and i was even more intrigued because once again I have been living on Joy Amin page. I'm going to put his channel right here. He's a very, 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 very good, very, very thorough, very people-like, very relatable, very interesting and fun reviewer. I thoroughly love this guy's channel. I mean, he's such a pleasant, you can see his post, he's such a people person. I love Joy Amin. I wish he would answer his goddamn comments when people comment because he doesn't. But you know what? He's a really good reviewer, you guys. And he has, you know, reviewed like a lot of Latafa scents and he is an absolute joy. And, you know, going over there also and discovering these perfumes, the way he sells these fragrances, he pretty much said that this perfume is of niche quality for a very affordable price. 
yes he said this is niche quality for an affordable price and i was like say what really and i mean let's just take a minute i mean look at this bottle first of all that thickness to the bottom is just glass you guys this is a hefty thick solid bottle like for the price that i pay i'm so impressed like and i think that's what got me with these middle eastern perfumes the packaging i am a sucker for packaging you guys let me tell you these middle eastern perfumes just suck me all the way in because oh my god the packaging like the packaging people okay now let me just get into the notes for ragba wood in 10 it has in caramel guayac wood licorice and cedar in the middle it has an agar wood sugar and sandalwood and cashmere wood in the base it has an incense vanilla amber oak mass and musk and for me this one smells different from ragba it's not that prominent with the incense okay for me what i get from this one here let me just remind myself who Okay, yeah. So this is a sugary, sweet, caramelly, woody smelling perfume, okay? Yeah. This smells, I mean, the whole aura of this bottle, it gives you the mind. You know, um, when you go inside of a Mercedes Benz and you have that, um, the interior looks kind of woody and leathery. That's the vibe that I get from this perfume. Yeah. A sweet caramel you know, exquisite, woody smelling scent. I said exquisite because there is, um, there is this feel to this perfume. Notice I said a Mercedes Benz. There is a feel to this perfume. This perfume even comes across a little bit masculine because of that whole feel to it. But I, I think it's a really enjoyable scent, okay? This don't smell no less quality to the, any designer fragrance. Um, am I channeling niche? It does, it smells decent, you guys. This is a decent smelling perfume. For what you get, what you pay for, the price, I think I spent less than 20 pounds for this, like, no bluff. Like, I'm telling you guys, before I bought this fragrance, I literally look up the history of the brand. I was like, why are you selling these fragrances for so cheap and they're so good? <laughs> I wanted to know, what's the tea? Like, what is it? Like, what's happening, you know? I didn't find much, but... All I know is I am so happy to explore this perfume. Now, I have not played with this one much because I've been loving Ragba so much. So I can't tell you much about the longevity and the wear of this one. All I can say to you is once again, I am in, we are in summer and wearing this fragrance, smelling this perfume is not climb. Beautiful fragrance, you guys. So this is Ragba Wood Intense and it is an air to perform. Both of these fragrances are 100 mil, you guys. So the next one is quite interesting, okay? Now I was very much, I was anticipating this one in particular because this one is a lot more raved about than um, the Ragba Wood Intense. And like I said, you guys, wherever you see Ragba, this one follows behind. And this one is Chic El Shiok. So the name is big. This bottle right here. Now, let's just peep this bottle. Like, this is heavy. Okay? Heavy. Has Middle Eastern writing in the front. It has English in the, to the bottom here. So you can see that's an ear to perform. And it says the Lux Edition. Okay? Now, look at this. Like, look at this. I mean... This cover here, so it looks similar to um, Rihanna's cover for her um, her perfume, but they put it in gold. It doesn't feel very flimsy or tacky. It's good, you know, heavy. It's not a cheap, tacky package at all. This is just bomb. Like, I really like this fragrance. Truly, like, I think, like, there are so many other fragrances that I want to buy. Like, because once you go and look up these fragrances, you get totally sucked into the wide array of um, Middle Eastern fragrances and all their elaborate packaging, you guys. And you just want to get them. You're like, you don't know nothing about a brand. You don't know how the fragrance performs. You're not hearing much people talking about it, but they're so enticing. The packaging is so enticing that you just want to get them. Just get them. Just get them all. So I had to like literally hold back. I have like a whole trolley or wish list full of fragrances that I've never heard anybody talk about. I don't really have, I haven't seen a lot of, well, you know, I've seen the main ones from Latafa on YouTube, but there are so many out there, you guys, that's worth exploring. So I'm going to just give you the notes in this one right quick. The notes in this one is rose, saffron, cinnamon, caramel, patchouli, vanilla, woody notes, amber, and a braxin. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. This makes 
it's the third bottle of oud bouquet that i have in my collection yes i said the third bottle of oud bouquet this perfume smells just like oud bouquet and shag of oud it smells i want to say it now the good thing is is that this is a much more wearable version so i'm not disappointed um this is a lot more area i want to say somewhat it's not even citrusy i'm not really getting citrusy but there has to be some citrus elements let me just have a look i want to say maybe the rose in the saffron the rose in the saffron is giving this fragrance a little bit more transparency than in shag of oud it is not as dense it is not as thick as shag of oud but it has the same scent profile it is not as sweet it is not as vanilla -y. so shag of oud is a lot is not as wearable it's more sweet of course the shag of oud the intense oud essence is a lot more louder so it is not as thick as the swiss arabian shag of oud I want to say the texture more resembles that of oud bouquet but it is not as heavy as with the oud if that makes any sense so this perfume is like um i want to say this is like a spring fall version maybe not spring i would wear it in spring in the spring nights that's how transparent this perfume is but this is in the fall or late summer wears okay you can wear it in the winter However, the reviewer, um, right, fragrance, a fragrance glance. So she said that this perfume does not last very long. And that's what kind of eases this perfume. And for me, even though it doesn't last that long, it does have staying power, but it goes to somewhat of a skin scent. You do smell it, but it only projects for like two, three hours. I want to say maybe two hours. It only projects for two hours. But when you smell it afterwards, it's on the skin. You just have to like smell a little bit more. So you definitely would have to respray if you spray this one. But this is a lighter version and a much more wearable version. Now, I'm going to be honest enough to, you, to say to you guys, Oud Bouquet for me is an absolute gem. It's a star, okay? A, a superstar, even that. But I don't reach for it. I don't reach for Oud Bouquet because it's strong. It's heavy. It's really intense, you know? It's something that you just can't wear any in everywhere and any time of the day. This is why I love this perfume. Same thing with Shag of Oud. You can't... Shag of Oud is for the club. And Shag of Oud for me... Um, I don't know it's a if it's the same as you know um oud bouquet for me in my opinion you can't wear it any everywhere you can wear this every day you can wear this everywhere you guys because it's a lighter version for me it's more wearable and for that reason i'm very happy to have it in my collection even though it smells so similar to oud bouquet you know i love this fragrance you guys and i i just i'm glad to add it to my collection and i'm definitely going to be enjoying this perfume in those in the fall months very a pleasant scent to wear you guys so this is shiak a chic al shiak the next fragrance took me by surprise okay now once again you know your girl reached out to veronica because you know you always could find them gems on veronica's channel okay like literally now i was exploring latafa fragrances which took me to amazon which let me which which by the way all these perfumes were bought from good old Amazon, you guys. Yes, this is my first ever perfume haul from Amazon. So when I went to look up these fragrances on Amazon, I stumbled across another fragrance. And then I came back over to YouTube and I look up this scent. And this perfume in particular, apparently it's a dupe for tobacco vanille from Tom Ford. I've never smelled tobacco vanille, you guys. But I know there are two dupes on the market for tobacco vanille okay and i know there's one from al Haramain and one from pandora scents and i was like i don't know which one to get but there are a lot of people who was raving about this particular one and this is charuto by tobacco vanille now when i first came across it and i saw the picture on it i was like this is gonna be some old woody tobacco you know old man type of scent like you know i was like this right here i even messaged veronica and i said i don't like the picture on it you know like and apparently it's castro i don't know 
tell me if you guys know let's say somebody actually said that this is castro on the front of here i don't know but this particular tobacco vanille is from pandora scents you guys i really want to try it out because you know i was intrigued the bottle intrigued me i mean i mean look at it for what listen this is hefty this is hefty okay it is frosted the cap it is a light fitting cap but it's snug enough it won't fall like i mean like listen for what i pay for this perfume right here off of amazon like i could just like i could kiss this <laughs> this bottle like literally like and then when i smelled the juice it was not what i was expecting you guys but in a very 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 good way now let me just give you guys the note the top notes for charuto's tobacco vanille is tobacco leaf and spices in the base in the middle note you have tobacco flower tonga bean vanilla and cocoa in the base dry fruit accords and woods now first of all you're not getting the notes for this baby and fragrantica okay fragrantica ain't running the show this time around not with the melissa and perfumes when you find one on fragrantica it's like hallelujah but it's not always the case now like i said to you guys when i saw the color of this bottle the picture that they have displayed on it i was like this is gonna be some old tobacco scent woody masculine like rough type of tobacco you know and let me just give you guys a fun fact i do not like tobacco i despise tobacco like i believe in my hubs but that's a whole different conversation right there i don't like tobacco but i find tobacco in fragrances is very intriguing comes off a little bit even sexy it makes the fragrance mysterious and it gives off a vibe that is when it's not dominating the scent but when you hit tobacco vanille you're like oh, this is gonna be crazy listen right when i smell this i say if tom for tobacco vanille smell better than this this is something special you guys now this perfume smells like a syrupy sweet i kid you not it smells like a sugary syrupy sweet tobacco-esque scent now this is just not what i was expecting i want to say now i don't know again i don't really explore tobacco like that um i don't know nothing about a cigar okay there is like a a mintiness but it, there's like a um a sugary sweet minty essence to it and with that tobacco void the tobacco is not that it's not that smoky it doesn't smell burnt it just smells like a sugary syrupy sweet um tobacco scent with it almost smells as if there's some cherries okay like i said there is some fruits in here but the fruits that's in that that, that i'm getting is like a cherry essence to it so it smells like cherries and tobacco okay with its a minty sweetness to it now i will say to you that this perfume dries down you do get more of that tobacco vibe to it but the tobacco again is not that sweet. once again i don't know how a cigar smells but when you think of a cigar in your mouth that like bitterness or that taste to it that's what the smell that i'm getting brings to mind and that what that's what comes to mind when i think about you know the scent that i'm getting from this perfume all i know is as this perfume begins to dry down it changes so i like that now you think that because this is a a dupe that it's going to be cheaply done and crappy this smells like quality stuff this is a good version of well i don't know if tobacco vanille smells like this, which I've seen from all the reviews, that this is like a like a 95% match. Listen, tobacco vanille has to be something extremely special because this is some bomb ass shit. Like this is bomb, okay? This smells really, really good. Like this is, okay? I will say that as it begins to dry down, you get that ashy somewhat um i don't want to say dirty but you're getting more of the sweetness is slipping away and you're getting more of that ashy i don't want to say dirty but that dirty ish like tobacco vibe but it's not unpleasant it just it's giving me somewhat of a 
true scent of what you would imagine a cigar or, or tobacco to smell like like it's definitely giving me that vibe like so so close like all i know is if tobacco veneer smells better than this that all of a sudden that 200 and something price tag is worth it you guys i personally think that tom ford prices is offensive it's offensive man it's upsetting but being exposed to this if this is why this sm if tobacco veneer smells better than this there's no doubt in my mind that is some special juice you guys and for what you get i mean in this this is like quality shit this it gives me valentino vibes like the bottle this have like you crazy this is exactly what my collection needed because like i said to you guys like i have so many fresh fruity florals and that's the essence of my entire collection and i realized i don't have much oods I don't have much really like heavy hitters, really strong scents because that's not something I really go for. So as of lately, I'm taking the boxes. Like it's like, okay, what does my collection need? This is what we need. And let me tell you, this is some bomb shit, you guys. This is some good stuff. Now this next one right here, I was a little bit skeptical about it because again, this is another dupe of something else more expensive. Now I came across it while I was doing my reviews, you know, looking up my, you know, um, doing my research and stuff like that. And, um, I don't know, it intrigued me, but it didn't really intrigue me because the original scent for it, I have smelled it and it's good. It's really, really good. I would describe the original for this perfume, a complete masterpiece, but I really, I haven't been aiming for it just, just yet. I don't know why. And I think it's because it comes from a brand that I like it, but it's not like I'm going to go crazy over it. You know, I have discussed that brand. I have one fragrance from that brand. And the perfume that I'm talking about is Oud Satin Mood. Now, this is Oud Satin Mood from Ministry of Oud, you guys. Now, I was a little bit skeptical, but I came across a few reviewers and I wanted to get the experience. I mean... The actual Oud Satin Mood is, you know, it's the whole experience. But when I saw how well packaged this bottle was, like the presentation for it, again, I actually saw Veronica says and her husband review this fragrance. In even himself, he was quite pleased with the presentation. I mean, like, I mean, we're talking about a dupe of an expensive fragrance, like a quarter, a, frac a fraction of the price with a fancy packaging, like, this is not, it's just not, no, this is not just like a cheap knockoff. This is giving you the whole vibe. It's like, <laughs> it's like, this is just giving you the whole vibe. It's like, why do we need the original? I mean, I think I would get Oud Satin Mood in the future. I would, but it's, it hasn't been like, I haven't been crazy. I don't know because everybody has it. Like if I come here and I show you guys Oud Satin Mood, no, nobody's going to bat an eye because it's like, oh yeah. Oh, you got Oud Satin Mood. That's how I feel. But, you know, I just wanted to get a taste for it. And I was like, okay, yeah, why not? At least I can get a taste for it, so to speak. So I tried out this one in particular. And even though I have smelled, I have smelled Oud Satin Mood. Um, it comes kind of close, but it's not as well blended. As in, like, I feel like they try to combine the components of um, Oud Satin Mood but they didn't quite get that blend quite well i want to well not, when i say not well is i feel like you can smell what's in here like you get the violets okay a hint of oud there's some sweetness in here okay i want to say with oud satin mood it's more combined the notes are more combined you don't really when you smell oud satin mood you don't know what you're smelling but for me i can kind of pick up some of the notes that's in here Okay, it's kind of like it has different parts in it. It's like they try, you know, it's not bad. It's beautiful. This is, you know, this is bomb. This is good. You know, I really like it. Wood Satin Mood had more of a pause. This is a lick, a little bit more flat, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. For the price that you pay, this is okay. This is good. Like I said to you, I'm not particularly crazy over Wood Satin Mood, but I'm definitely glad to get a taste of or of it you know i'm glad to have you know something that resembles it in my collection this is oh this last fragrance right here i was in between two minds between getting this one and another one royal blends 
I went with this one instead. And this one is called Kayet by La Tafa. I went with this one because um, I think I said Royal Blends resembles something. Was it Over Pura? It said it gives you Over Pura vibe. And I feel like I already have Cork, which is Over Pura vibes. And I already have Al Haramein Amber O, which is apparently Over Pura in print. <laughs> So I was like, let me try something else. And again, Jai Amin spoke about this fragrance on his channel. And he said he raves about these Latafa perfume with good reason. I mean, look at this packaging. Yes. And this has the logo for the brand. I'm going to show you, you know, the, the, the pride that they've taken into the brand. Like, look at this packaging. This feels like leather. It's probably not leather. But this is like, for me, this is what I would have preferred. Um... Killian's Angel Shears to come in because when it can Killian Angel Shears the packaging the bottle topples over and falls out This fragrance is snug neat and intact in this packaging. Okay. Now. This is the outer packaging of it Okay, and it comes with a box over this behind here is the logo like This is impressive for what it's worth for what you're getting what you're paying I paid about 20 something pounds for this. This is like this is experience here. Like, I mean, I am impressed with Latafa. Look at that. And then, of course, to put the icing on the cake, like, look at that. Like, do you see? <laughs> like, I mean, like, how in God's name are they giving you such affordable fragrances in such exquisite packaging and presentation? Like, how are they doing it? It's so hard to believe that I went and I, I Google it. Why is Latafa perfume so cheap? <laughs> like, like, what are they selling, right? I literally Google it. Okay, now, this is the bottle. Listen, it is snug. I'm not gonna, like, do you see this? Like, are you seeing this? Like, come on. Look at that. Now, this is what it looks like. Look at this shit. This is not tacky. This is like, y'all can't tell me nothing. Like, I ain't never going back. Like, mainstream designer, I ain't never going back. Like, I don't even know what y'all gonna do because every day y'all come on my channel, it's just gonna be Middle Eastern fragrances. Like, please. I could save all these coins and get such, like, impressive packaging. Like, please, people. Like, look at that. Look at this. I mean, I know you guys probably already see this already, but, like, mm-mm. This is just, it just can't be real. Okay, so this one has in cardamom, cinnamon, and bergamot, saffron, sandalwood, cedar, and carnation in the base, vanilla, oud, amber, and leather. I will say to you, this is more on the masculine side. When I say masculine side, it smells like a cologne, okay? Now, yeah, it smells like a cologne, but it's so nice, like, like you're kidding me, yo. Okay, now, I want to put on my skin, because I don't believe I put this one on my skin yet i haven't really played with this one much because it's in this container and it's so snug now when you smell this perfume you get the cardamom on the top at the top you definitely get this cardamom you get the essence of the cinnamon and you get that bergamot vibes but it's not like a citrusy um bergamot you get the depth of bergamot in here some slight essence green essence in here so you get those top notes in your face. You get the saffron and the cedar. The cedar is very prominent. And you get the oud. There is leathery essence. Yeah, there's some leathery vibes in here mixed with a bit of amber. The amber is not that strong, okay? But you definitely get the leather the and the amber touches. And the presence of oud. But it's not a strong oud. It's a nice oud scent. This smells like top-notch quality shit. Like, like this smells like a cologne that you can pop up in. Like, this smells like something that you can just buy off of, you know, Selfridges and Debenhams, like, off the shelf. Like, legit. Like, this don't smell like no cheapy. Like, you know, when you buy celebrity perfumes, you can tell that they're a little bit cheaper. You know, certain fragrances you buy, you can tell that they're cheaper, okay? Nothing. This is bomb and like i said to you it's more on the masculine side but because of the packaging how good it smells the airiness of it like i'm rocking this shit myself i gave it i let my partner smell it to see if he liked it he wasn't that particularly blown away i don't know if it's this this is his kind of vibe but i love it this just smells it smells like a well-kept man 
who likes to be really fresh and likes those really prominent strong scents i love this perfume you guys i just i'm blown like like listen la tafa hey. so yeah this is it for my um middle eastern fragrance haul i really do hope you guys enjoyed these selections i am completely loving this la tafa brand you guys if you guys only know i have about nine more on the way so please do stay tuned for <laughs> for part two so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you guys are new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i would love for you to join you know my channel or should i say my community and that way that will help you know push my channel out there so youtube would know that you guys are enjoying my content so yeah please do hit that subscribe button so until next time you guys see you in my next video bye